From Shushan Palace to Hanoi to Ho Chi Minh City to Florida, today we are going to be talking about alcohol. So before we get to Shushan Palace and before we get to my neck of the woods in Vietnam, I'd like to start with an article from ProPublica on the Sargon of Akkad Facebook page um, that was complaining about a $1,000 liquor bill at Mar-a-Lago. Now, as we know, Mar-a-Lago is uh, President Donald Trump's, I guess, home away from home. He does a lot of work there. It's a uh, golf resort, some kind of rich people, country club sort of facility. And this article actually has the audacity to complain about a $1,000 liquor bill that, that taxpayers paid for, which I thought was amusing, kind of as a follow-up to the last video that I did about Tony Morris, Anthony Morris, the a member of the governing body of Jehovah's Witnesses who was caught recently with, um, it was more than $800 worth of Macallan Top Shelf uh, whiskey. And... Uh, for which he's earned the nickname Top Shelf Tony. But for those of you who aren't following Jehovah's Witnesses or all that weird religious stuff, you might not know about that. But here we have a case where this is one man on a Sunday morning, probably the morning when he is least likely to be caught, with it looked like at least $800 worth of Top Shelf whiskey. And uh, he was speaking to someone else in the store about what he likes, what his wife likes, and so on. So it's a bit different than our president spending, I know, as horrible as it sounds, $1,000 of tax money on the liquor. Um, the article goes on to complain that the drinks, uh, there were 54 drinks ordered at $18 a piece. An $18 drink isn't that unusual. And uh, I know here in Hanoi, if I want to walk down the street and get some beer, I can get pretty much all, I can go to a beer hoy or something, they call them beer hoys, these outdoor beer tents, they just have kegs of beer and you can just, uh, it's, it's like what, 10 cents a glass or something. And while the bottle of Hanoi beer might be enough for a former president, Mr. Barack Obama, when he was here with Anthony Bourdain, um, we saw him with that bottle of Hanoi beer, for uh, Donald Trump and his Chinese guess it makes sense that they would have these $18 drinks, which again, who cares? $18 drinks. Have you never been to Manhattan? Have you never been to Las Vegas? That's pretty standard for what a drink would cost. I mean, if I were in Eau Claire, my hometown, and someone charged me $18 a drink, I might look twice at it, but I mean, come on. Even in the Twin Cities, even in Chicago, if you go to a nicer place, you're going to pay $18 or more for a drink, and it doesn't seem like a big deal. I've even paid that much at nicer restaurants out here. I mean, just little old me, you know, I'm not an ambassador, I'm not in any country club, I'm not with a president. Um, furthermore, we think about, well, Trump himself does not drink. Maybe, there must be some video of him somewhere having a glass of wine or something, but as a rule, he does not drink. And we know that because his older brother um, died of complications from drinking too much alcohol. And that discouraged the young Donald from ever becoming a drunk. Um, but of course, with Trump derangement sy syndrome and with slow news days, uh, articles like this and ProPublica are quite common. So check the link in the description below if you are interested. It's kind of a funny article when you put it all together. When you think about the context, um, this also comes, uh, I had recently heard, and this was an older video, but it was brought to my attention from TMZ of a story that Hillary Clinton outdrank John McCain. And this was in Estonia, and they were drinking vodka shots, which is pretty serious stuff. I don't know who out there has done vodka shots, but uh, just a couple of them, and, and you're pretty much done. And she outdrank McCain. She outdrank a Vietnam War veteran, a man, Hillary. I believe that she is an alcoholic, and there is so much evidence to point towards that. We also have video of Bernie drinking, Bernie Sanders in the Soviet Union. And uh, so we have leaders who are drunks, and to complain about uh, Trump um, being an alcoholic or supporting this alcohol culture when an $18 drink to him is just a basic courtesy, you know. I also remember 
while we were busy um, thinking about the personal habits and affairs and uh, impeaching Clinton over Monica Lewinsky, I remember seeing footage of Boris Yeltsin. And uh, if you go back on YouTube, you can see some of this stuff from the 90s. He was a very prolific drinker, and he didn't mind being drunk on camera. And so what we have here in the States is a bit different. Uh, that said, I think that it's unwise for a ruler to be a drinker, as uh, we'll discuss later in the book of Esther in an upcoming video. But I just think it's really funny that this article came out condemning him for spending $1,000 in liquor, pointing out that these drinks cost $18 a piece, and wondering what's happening to all this precious taxpayer money that $1,000 of it goes to drinks. I just think that's totally ridiculous and it's a non-news story, but it's uh, something that I wanted to point it out just because it just shows how desperate the media is to keep picking on Trump and um, they're certainly going to miss him. And I, I don't mean that in uh, 2020, I mean that in 2024 when he finally steps down. Thanks for listening. Over and out.